we're gonna go have a, a discussion about this topic. And I believe it's very important. Matter of fact, I know it's very important. That's the reason why I speak about these things so consistent. Some people probably think I'm going crazy or like something wrong with me mentally or I'm just an angry black man like they're an angry black man like they're ready to throw at every every brother that got an issue with the world and the, and the things going on around us. They believe, oh, we are angry black man. But here we are going. I'll show you the fight where we are getting internal. Big up Missy. Big up Missy. Here, here we are really are going with we. I me personally, I can speak for myself right now. But I, I can't deal with betrayal too well. I don't deal properly with, I don't know if I deal with betrayal. Don't know how to deal with betrayal. don't know how to deal with betrayal you get me <clears throat> somewhere it's, it's always hard for me to deal with somebody who value the shit they got or the shit I got more than more than our friendship Yeah, big up Rainier. Yeah. <laughs> I sight you. Yeah, it's hard for me to deal with. It's, it's a couple things I want to get off of my mind and tell my people, look, I don't have nothing against nobody on Facebook. I'm not an enemy of it. I don't have any enemies. Uh, my friend is like, I don't. I'm pretty sure whoever don't like me got rid of himself by now. And I did delete the people who I see. I know for a fact it's not there from like real people. Like, they just scammers whatever anyway well whoever there i don't know the rest of them there i don't know so may i say may i tell you this now this this reasoning is going much further than just facebook it's the reason why i'm doing this live video it's not about looks here with me or um trying to you know what i say clout chasing you know rainy the clout what they call clout chasing like they said they would like to call me the angry black man because i have a something that's bothering me and we talk about it we make it um socially available open for people to comment on and say how they feel you know some people keep all this stuff internal they go through a hundred thousand things in their mind and they cuss and they fuss and they mad but they keep it internal me i can't do that i voice my opinion because that's just why i'm being that way since i was a child my mother told me when i was a little boy i was doing that I was really always, you know, voicing my opinion and if I feel a certain way, I would say I'm still the same way to this day. So, what I'm saying, people, I have, have people where I deal with, I'm a trust and I love and want to grow with. Like, I'm getting, you know, you get close to, like, a, 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 a friend, whether it be a woman or a man, you can't have friends, you know. You already know you will have your woman, your girlfriend, your wife, and then you have friends out of that boundary, you know what I'm saying? Some have bridging now, bridging and bridging. So you like to help and you just feel like you're growing with these people and them is a part of your life and you just respect the humanity of the people so me is that type of person who respect people from the level where I would like to see people um, elevated I love to see people doing well I love to see people and make strides and I would have good mind to help them and support and show the love back and forth with each other and I admit, you know, we all get busy. This is a life where we all get busy. Some of my friends they probably wonder where I'm at. Them not have time for them. It's not that I don't have time for them. But what happening is I'm, I get so busy with my own little routines of promotion, release, distribution, performing, and actually going for those rights so we can get paid and make some money. Because this is this life you have to earn a living to survive. Now everybody should overstand and get that. I mean, once you've grown, you have to survive. And you know the struggle that come with that, Rainia. You know the struggle. We Sometimes we don't know where it's going to come from the next day. I mean, even when you work in a nine to five, you have to wait two weeks for your paycheck or a month. And you might need money today. So that's a struggle within itself. So everybody should already know that life is not, everything is not easy, like the road is not paved with gold, we're not running around picking up money off of trees, 
some of us don't own our own farm where we could be selling food to make loads of money so we work hard for what we have now when i have a friend that i put my i want to put my trust in you know i want to build with and do something positive and i say yo you know when i make it to a certain level this person i definitely want to help out support and build with you know what i say that type of vibe but you end up finding out that this person value this shit right here more than you something simple as this one little phone person will value this damn phone more than you more than they value you the relationship and the connection with you and the ideas and the that's the whole the whole vibration that you bring into the conversation with them and you telling you know you yeah, try to build with these people like yo real connection and you want to grow with them you know if i'm going on tour i'd love to take this you know learn my music you could be my hype man you could be a supporter like you could if you're doing a song i could support and produce it. you know just building with people and you get to find out say a man rather teeth your, your your freaking phone a phone and and cut it off because of your own phone then keep a decent relation a vibe with you as a person now that show me something what that show me says people nowadays i know not everybody is like that but it's a lot of people out there that they make physical things like these physical little things destroy great connections with great people that would have gave them way 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 more than that shit right there that they stole the simple little bullshit they steal sometimes people are just testing when you're dealing with certain people you have to realize what's going on you can't just deal with everybody the same way fam everybody is not the same person you can't deal with every individual the same exact way it's stupid of you and then the first people you're not supposed to deal with anybody on that negative level when you're trying to take something from them that you didn't buy or if you need some ask that person the fact that the person care about you should give you more initiative to ask them for help simple now a person like me like i said i don't deal with betrayal well i don't i can't it's never been something i could deal with that's why i don't rush to to keep friends like i don't rush to make a big circle of friends i don't because i know that the more friends betray me is the more i'm gonna be pissed off and the more i'm gonna be on that same neg vibe where i'm just you know venting and, and angry about the situation because you get what i'm saying that's materialistic shit. you get me Rainier? yeah stupid because i guess one of the value of you is way more like nigga, bro i could buy 10 phones I could buy 10 phones and give him five and tell him go sell five and bring back some money and we flip, we keep buying phones. I could have told the nigga that we could have buy 10 phones and flip the phones and keep buying phones and selling phones and make a business out of it. Instead, this nigga steal one phone from me, cut me off like he don't know what he did or what he doing, right? I know we don't have a connection. I don't want to connect with this. I don't want nothing to do with this fool, man. Nothing. You see me? I say? Big man thing, brother. Man a big man brother like You got value a microphone and a phone over, over the connection with g Terror nigga Smuddy way Capable of working and continually producing And buying 1500s of these mother, mother suckers man You people are losing your mind out here bro Rainier these people losing their mind Jamaica All over the world people losing their mind They disrespect the connect For a goddamn phone Bro Come on, man. Come on, bro. I, I'm sad for... I'll be sad for brothers and sisters out here, man, that's, that's like that. You're going to diss me. You're going you're gonna to shit on me a connection over a fucking porcelain. Just because you, you don't have enough goddamn decency to say, bro, you know, I need a phone, man. You could hook me up or when I get enough money, I could pay you for it. Instead, you're just going to just take the shit and you know cut me off it's ridiculous so you know them things that have to be addressed and it happens a lot of times in this world i know it's a lot of people out here going through stuff like that with people who just don't care they just put things over you continually and they don't realize that you worked hard and bought everything you have you know what i say now i got a, i'm not gonna say i have a lot of shit, but i have stuff and i have stuff because i've been working my whole damn life i never stopped working i can't remember a year passing by I'm, and i'm not hustling or working some type of way you get what i'm saying and that's since i was damn 16 
I can't remember a year passed by and I'm not working or hustling since I was 16. So if you see me with something, obviously if you're working 24-7, you're going to have something. You know what I'm saying? So I would advise everybody out there who wants something out of life, forget to hustling. Hustle with me, hustle with whoever you want, hustle with, work with whoever, work with somebody, build with somebody, connect with people, but work positive. Learn from them and grow and build your own. It's that simple. You don't have to be jealous of anybody for what they have because it's a load of, of stuff on earth that everybody could get. Loads. I don't know if people realize what's really going on, bro. Maybe the government tricked you or something, bro. Maybe you think it's only a few people out here got something. But, bro, beer, if you're really looking at me, you know what I noticed with brothers and sisters? I'm off to be straight up right now because, you know, niggas be lying all the time and talking a lot of garbage and... They ready to fake out the, the funk 24-7. Because they got a lot of fake people in the world. We know that. People are twisted mentally. Jealous for attention. Attention-seeking individuals 24-7. They do anything for the attention. Fake shit, fuck shit. I mean, I've been, I've been, recently I've been looking at social media. And I see people doing some shit. I'm like, damn, bro. Everybody's switching up. People who used to be your fans, they don't. Now nah, they want to be a goddamn rapper. And they can't rap. But they just... Following the fake shit and becoming followers, monkey see, monkey do, all of that's getting heavy. It's getting heavy because social media is rampant. And I told you that I, I realized the real meaning of what social media really come for and what they're really up to. Big up Island Empress, respect and love to all the queens and kings. Then big up Island Empress, really, you don't know, big up yourself. Enough respect. No, I'm just being honest, people. You know, I'm not here to offend anybody. You know, I love all people. Everybody know me by now knows me. Love everybody. And I've never been the attacker of anyone. I've born into a world with people that um, have a thing against me, my color, my people, you know, just... And then I have a look to and make even my own people, them, not like me, because they would have sent me light skin or whatever, but my brown skin. But it's just so much offense and so much um, twisted thinking within the world because of man judging each other by skin color, looks, and presentation. Appear that I go on. All right. If you have hair as locks, you got some brothers now that's bald headed, don't like the locks because they're bald headed. See this mentality? It's, it's, it's called um, physical appearance judgment. People are judging through physical appearance. And you got big companies now that use that to advertise and to instigate hate within the hearts of the people. You have to understand what's going on. It's much deeper than what you see on the surface level. Most people don't understand these things because they they are looking through these two eyes 24-7. They're just looking through these right there. So they can't see beyond the eyes. You can, if you're just watching everything like this, but you're not looking in from internal, you can never see the fullness of everything. You're always going to just see the physical surface of things. You can't see the inner layer of anything, which is where everything is made, in the inner layer. I can prove everything is made from the inner layer. When you're doing a, a song, you go in the studio, you get on the microphone, you record your, your takes one by one. Inner layer shit. That's all inner layer. And you're spitting you into the microphone. And then after that, there's a mix, a master. And all that work gets synced together as something that could be seen on the surface level. As done. But internally what happens is a whole lot of work went in internally. Just like how within us, we have organs. We have internal organs. The only external organ we have is our skin, which has melanin within it and, and has, you know, it has a lot to do with why we get protected from, from any weather. Now, internally we have the kidney, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the, the um, intestines, the prostate, women have ovaries, you know what I mean? Men have all these different, we have all these different organs inside of us with brain inside of our head so you see the internal is very important everything that's inside is reason why everything functions outside so nothing functions outside without the internal being proper so when we look within life and you see things you have to always look internal not just on the external stuff look internally when you want to find the answers big up oil must fire sis wagwan respect and love you see it Bang. Yeah man, so me I said, you have to look internal when you want to learn anything at all. Everything is internal. And when you see how a person will become your friend and they will look at you and 
you will get to know what level the person is on because um Rania, may I show you a thing? We are people, right? I see you as equal. I give you the opportunity to be around me, spend time with me. I show you love, I treat you with respect, I do stuff for you to show you that I respect you and that I value your friendship, right? But then you come and you put a phone over me, right? Because then me lend you a phone and you cut me off because you don't want to bring the phone back. So you cut me off because you don't want to bring the phone back. And then within that time, I find out that one of my shoes is missing. And I'm like, what the fuck? You get what I'm saying? So now you see the internal look inside of that now that shows you the internal of a man mind that shows you say a man don't value you your business your ideas and what you about more than you value that goddamn phone and shoes are the simple petty shit that they steal from you you get what i'm saying so that internally shows you that that person doesn't um have any 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 moral um code about themselves and the way they carry themselves that's not somebody you want to be going through life with or dip on the journey with. That's not somebody you want to make loads of money and be around. That's that person that will rob you, set you up, and get you even killed or you might have to kill. So what? So you see, it's a lesson there. And that's what I'm talking about these things. People are valuing things more than they value the people that earn and make and get these things. Everybody must remember, yo, things are just made by people, fam. Things are made by people. Everything you look at, except for God creation on earth and the natural thing that you see that God create, how it is, man make it. Man. Man can man make everything what you see around you that God didn't create in its form and shape. Man re, re, reshape it from the earth, from the clay, from the sand, from glass, metal, any, any uh, material that you could find. You realize that man use it. To, to, to reshape it into whatever you can imagine to make on a physical level, right? So we should never, as a people, become jealous of people over rings and things and all that little stuff because man create these things continually all the time. And if you just learn the knowledge of the earth and go out with something about yourself, you can get anything that you actually desire and want physically. There's nothing in this world that you can't get on a physical level. Everything is achievable and attainable. So nobody should be jealous of anybody. But what happens is we're going through this fight. Big up Cherry. Much respect for him. You know what I mean? I said we're going through this fight because of ignorance. And ignorance is heavy in the black community. We have to be honest. We know why you want to say black community, we want to say African community. Ignorance is still heavy because Africans lost their true teachings from Timbuktu, which they need for practice right now to maintain the power within the nation and to maintain balance within the nation and to maintain that our people have food to eat and have proper shelter and the proper guidance, the tools to use for continually creating a better economy and state for themselves. Because this is not a, this a fear that I'm speaking of. When I speak of it, you have to remember say it I go on for a million, one million or more of us. Because every time one black man or African, whatever you want to call me, go through something, it's happening to the whole nation. See, I don't know if you believe or know that, but it's facts. Big up Cherry. Remember me telling you that. People can look down on me now, but a year later they're going through the same stuff I'm going through. So me just try to be real with people and let you know, look, betrayal is not a thing where we need to practice with each other. We need to learn how to stop betraying each other, right? Like there's some little things where Africans are doing where it's not a part, you're not a part of that. You got caught up. And I'm not saying just Africans to make nobody feel left out. I know we are one people. Because we're all one people. See, and so anybody that watches later, just because you feel like you might not be an African, don't feel no type of way because I'm saying African. Because I'm speaking of myself and my roots trace back to. Yeah, me have a mixture of Ethiopia, Egypt. It's crazy because they're at war right now for some reason. Now for sure you said the world is in a fuck is a messed up state. You know, our people are fighting against each other for morsels when they were robbed in the first place and never never stand up to say how we gonna get back what we, we lost. We were robbed, you know, like like you know a nation get robbed. A whole nation. A whole nation. Not one man. Our whole nation. And here we are. 
jealous fighting against each other for morsels. Like shit like this. Nigga looking for a phone in the teeth from me. Nigga cut my, my bread, you know, I'm look up. I say, yo, I got love for this brother. This brother I was going to take on tour with me anywhere I go. I wanted to book a ticket so he could come with me. This motherfucker steal a phone. A phone from me. I used to work with him too, so you know I won't call no names or nothing. Out of respect, out of respect for the livelihood of people, I not try down nobody or tear down nobody's life. I'm just saying it's my. I'm speaking about my feelings on what happened. I don't care about de defaming the person or tearing them down, cause that's not what I do. I'm not that type of person. I'm the type of person. I'm a real man. My brother can tell you about me. I'm the type of brother that was that take the charge and ride, because I because everybody is scared and crying. Yes. Yes, that's who I am. That's why I, that's the cause of my problems. I stood up for people when I didn't have to. Even though I was a problem when I was younger, I had to learn to, to be a better person. You know what I mean? I say I grow to being um, childish and the hustler mentality where you just choose to sell drugs or, or be in the streets because it's, it's accessible. You know, I, I let that go years ago, years and years ago. And I become a stronger person by doing that. I started putting more power into my music, started putting more more time into what really mattered and the music grew for me I got more shows up on top of shows people love more and more what I'm doing and even though I don't have the big name producer and the biggest name artist feature with me and all that shit I still did my shit out of confidence and love for the music and people felt it so big up everybody that felt my music even though I'm independent and, and, and they call me a starving artist and they call me all type of shit it doesn't matter what they call me underground that means I'm dead, God damn. I'm always dead because they call me underground. <laughs> you know, so shit, you know, all the, the criticism, all the, the struggle, the pain, I'm here bearing with it, you know what I mean? Still, to this day, and I'm still not rich and I'm still not famous how my friend, my true people, they wanted me to be and everybody built me up to be because they built me up. Trust me, they built me up. You know, I had people that built me up for years. They was, G Terror, man, you hot. You, boy, why you ain't signed? Boy, you, boy, shit, boy, that shit fire, bro. I mean, I, and I was just dropping music because the love. But people were just feeling that and they were just rocking with me and that built me up. So it's hard when I lose these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, whether it's through social media or through life, the struggles that happen with people, it's hard when I lose these people. It's tough. You know what I mean? I don't know how to react to, to it like it's tough and then it's like i need them to be there for me to help me get through because this shit is pressure you know what i mean anybody that do music they lying to you if they tell you it's all cool and they're happy every fucking day they lying they lying bro it's a lot of pressure bro the pressure be on you and you just because you want to do better so you can help people you know it ain't you ain't just doing it for, you're not doing it for yourself you got kids you got you got a woman on you, you got your mama, you got good people that you know that you would love to be there for. And then when one of them niggas steal your phone or do some dumb shit to you, it make you feel fucked up because you really got a heart inside of you where you want to do good for all of them. You want to do good for all of them. You do anything for all, you get a world to everybody. I mean, you really want to be there for everybody for real. And that's, that feeling is crazy when you feel like that and the people don't feel like that about you, fam. That shit hurt. It, it hurt you, it make, it make you feel betrayed heavily, twice, three times. It feel like you get hit with a rock or something in your face. Like, it fuck you up when you are here full of love trying to grind uh, to really make it so you could really make these people live dreams, you know, and you want these people to live the dream. Like, you really want them to. You want to be the access. You want to make it so they can make it. Shit, I ain't even want to make it for me. I want to make it so other people can make it. That's, what, that's been my dream the whole time. I want to be the person to open doors for other people. That's the only reason I'm trying to be out. But I think pe I think the I think the wrong people see that, and they're trying to shut me out. And because they 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 don't like shit like that. Maybe they don't like to see nobody do good. Or they like they don't want to see nobody. Um, big up Juju B. Much respect, Queen. Sorry, I'm, the messages was getting all day. I'm held up and shit. I had to scroll. I didn't even notice he was messaging. Big up, Juju. Jamaica Godfrey. Bomba Cloud. Long time in the see you. Respect and love, Queen. Yeah, Cherry. Yeah, man, for real. I'm, 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 I'm good. Like, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. Like, I'm, I'm happy. Like, internally, like, I'm really happy. Like, but to shed my feelings, man, to be truthful and just dig down deep, like, I'm still kind of frustrated with certain things in my life. And that's why... You hear me saying certain things on Facebook. I'm not turning evil. I'm big up Ital Ranks. 
I'm not switching on nobody. I'm not changing. I love everybody. Y'all, the people that know me know me, and you know who I am. Like you know, I'm not no. I I just be running my tests because I'm getting. You know, you see, I, recently I've been going through a lot. Way more than just a Facebook page being stolen, and you know what I mean. I say, yeah, for real, Juju. I was thinking that early that the world don't like. I felt like I'm not suicidal or nothing, but I just felt like, damn, like if I could just not die, but just disappear you know I felt like just disappearing because you just get pressure you get the pressure sometimes from just everything and nobody really knows you're going through it because they they think it's all good for you because you doing some songs and they sound great and you got fans and you got people that love you and they telling you they love you like Rainier she been there for me like so much trying to be free from the system and trying to be myself and Teach people like reality and what's going on and what what changes we could make made me a, a, a public enemy in real life like the real public enemy nigga I'm more public enemy than public enemy my nigga that's what I'm trying to tell you yeah and I can show you the proof there's a lot of it out there it's on the internet it's off the internet you know so it's easier to believe what you can see so you know I can show you what's on the internet so it's in different areas. And what I see is white supremacy trying to fucking... But you know, I'm just, I'm really laughing because I'm, I'm crying for my people and the poverty because I'm here trying to... I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, people. I'm, I'm, I'm not here for myself, you know. If I was here for myself right now, I'd still... I'd be recording right now. I'd be recording music right now because I got a bunch of songs to record. But I'm here for... for I'm not here for myself. I'm not. If I was here for myself, I'd be doing pure music and just smiling 24-7 and dropping songs. I never complain about nothing. You know why? Because I'm making money. I'm making money. And the fact you're making money, you could keep making more and you could keep growing. And that gives you the confidence to make more and keep growing. And that's not the point right now. The point is, I don't see, I don't think the people that I'm, I'm, I'm around get the dream or get the idea of the concept of what I'm trying to tell them. We're trying to build up for our whole nation of people, not just individually ourselves, fam. I got some poor people I know that need help and I can't afford to help them. And that's the fucking problem. Give a fuck about no government shit. These niggas don't scare me, bro. That's not it. They don't scare me. The government people don't scare me. Like, I could have already died like three, four times. When I was in the military, I could have died in the military. I could have died before then. I got shot at in Jamaica before I ever came to America. Right behind here. Right back here. We got multiple bullets fired at our black ass. By the Jamaican police, constabulary force. Could have died that day. But didn't. Next time I could have drowned... I always tell people about that shit. I could have drowned in that river. I was swimming at that river and could have drowned. I nearly drowned. I did drown. I just was lucky. God, some type of spirit, something pulled me out of that damn water. I did drown. Because I remember looking, thinking about my mama. And the last shit she told me. She told me, um, don't go down there to the river. Stay away from it because a lot of rain, a lot of rainfall recently. So don't go to the river now because it's a lot of rainfall. And me, fool, fool. Big up Tatiana. Me fool fool gone down the river like idiot. Even though my mother tell me say wallipa rain fall, me still go down at the river, go swim. And I was swimming in the deep waters because I know how to swim. But like a fool, me jump off into the waterfall and nearly drown and dead. And and to my when me under the water I drown and I try to come up the waterfall, I clap me back down into the whirlpool. So the whirlpool just keep me in and under the water, I spin like gig and me, me drown under that blood clot. After me let go. And now I have no ear left and drink a whole bag of river water. Me end up feel my body just come out of the, the whirlpool. And then my body just slide into like one part of the water where calm. And I feel one spirit palm me like me. I said, John, no. Like raise up out of the water. I raise up out of the water. And I find out, pure trope. I trope all of the water that I was drinking. Because you know when you drown, I don't know if nobody ever come near drowning or Juju B. I need to drink off the whole of the river water. So I, I come near to death a lot of times. And I'm, because of that, I've, I've lost fear. I have lost fear. 
of death since I was a child. I have not been afraid of, of death because I, I felt like I've been there already. And it wasn't, it, it, I think it, because of that it crushed the fear. It crushed the fear because me, me, me nearly dead a couple times. But what I really hurt and pain for is people. Man, I love people, man. I, I really do. I love people. I do. I do. Because even when people do, do me wrong, I had advantage. I could have hurt them a lot of times and I, I never, I just didn't want to hurt them. I felt bad for them, you know. I felt like, damn, you know, I, I don't want to hurt. No matter what they do, like when it comes to things, but you see, if you come to my children, see if you come to the woman I love, or a woman I don't love, shit. Or because I love, I love everybody. So if it come to you hurting people, or didn't hurt my kids or my mother or something like that, I might, I might, yeah, I might tear your your head off. But other than that, man, I love people, man. I think, and I'm trying to live my life just loving people and just being a good person, a good humble person and doing right. But boy, when people betray you, you know, Rainier, Jojo, Jano, Cherry. When people, I know y'all been through some shit. I know everybody can't come online and shed their feelings like I do, man. You know, it's not an easy thing to do. You know, you have to be fully kind of free mentally. Like you have to be the type of person that don't give a fuck with nobody think about you and I'm that type of person the reason why I am is I've been through a lot of shit I've been through a lot of stuff and, and I realize that people can't make nor break you if you don't if you don't let them Jojo a lie for real for real <laughs> I know right man we've been through a lot of shit man you don't know sometimes niggas just go through a lot of shit and you just don't know and they won't tell nobody because they pressured. Because we live in a system that, first of all, if you live in America, if you live in America or any, like outside or out of Jamaica, you're pressured in different ways because of the culture and the system. They try to make everything look um, like it's all good and it's all mutual and everybody is equal and, and, and everybody is united. But it's not. When you, one time you get inside internally, you see that people are torn apart. You see that they're divided. You see that you have some white people that don't like black people. But they would like us to shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing about it. Just shut the fuck up. You know? I never, I was never born with hate for anybody. I never had any type of hate for any type of people and their, their skin color or their beliefs or their, their religion or whatever you choose to do with yourself is your choice. You know me, I said, Cherry? Rainier, like those are the people's choice. I don't, I never, I, I'm a young man that's born into this world of hatred and grudge and, and bad mind and wickedness. I was never a wicked person. But I'm being fed wickedness and hate and grudge and envy. So sometimes it, I give off that energy because I'm giving it back, motherfucker, because I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want this shit. I don't want it. Like my daughter say, I don't want it. My daughter say it all the time. I don't want it. I don't want it. Me neither. Some shit I just don't want. You see me? I said, Juju, I just want to live and be appreciated love. I don't want to be appreciated hated either. Because I appreciate hate. It seems like the hate is in everywhere, fam. The hate. Man. We got the feds on the side here as black men. I think the, there's a CIA spy force that's assigned to each black man that's born in the world because they really want to fuck up. They want us gone. And they want to enjoy us taking ourselves out. They don't necessarily want to shoot us and kill us all. I think they want us to kill ourselves and kill each other. I think that's the plot. And I've observed enough to see that they don't really care. Even Michael Jackson, the biggest fucking superstar in the world. It's, uh, that man tell you, they don't really care about us. Who else need to tell you that shit? This nigga said that shit on his way to being fully white. But something happened to him and he knows something happened to him and he... You know, all of this shit is connected, man. Ain't nothing disconnected, yo. All of this means something. Man. Look here, white people. When I say white man that's in power and I cuss these people out, I'm not talking about the regular everyday white people that's cool, loving. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about our regular 
supportive, loving white people as awesome and they cool with everything. They march with us, they walk with us, they all, you know, they're there with us through the protests and through the fight. No matter which country you come from, right now if you walk around Jamaica, you see a bunch of white people and nobody's bothering them here. No Jamaican is bothering these people because we accept all people of all nation of all colors of all tongues and languages and barriers and borders or wherever you come from you're accepted here in jamaica jamaicans just don't want you to come threaten them and try to make them feel like you're trying to take over like you did back in the days when nanny was here with the british that's when the prop jamaican have problems so you have to realize we never hated nobody we don't hate black we don't hate nobody we love white people. We taught them everything. We gave them everything. It's service, everything. So let's not make this about skin color and, and all of that. So it's I am the one that's being hated. You see me? I said, Cherry, Rainier, I am. We are. So we can't afford to hate each other more than we already getting or receiving. That the whole thing is like we're going back into mental slavery with our, our own people as slave masters. How? How? How we ever go back in a slavery, mental slavery, with our own brothers and sisters as our own slave masters? Whipping and beating us, telling us we can't move on, we can't get no further, we can't do nothing with our life, we're not going to support each other. No, no, we're going to hate each other. That's what the fuck we got. Some bootleg, coon niggas that's fucking holding us back. That's hating our fucking, hating us. The same brothers and sisters that's supposed to be pulling, that was marching together 50 years ago, is now tearing and hating each other right now. And that's the reason why I'm fucking hurt. I'm hurt because I've been watching a lot of... It's, it's my fault. It's, it's my fault. I'm coming out here crying like a motherfucking little bitch. You know it's my fault. You know why? Because I've been paying too much attention. I've been watching I've been, and I figured out everything. The truth done hit me so damn hard. I thought I knew I thought I knew a lot. I done learnt more and it done fucked my head up. Big up Mary Falls. I done learned so much that it done fucked my head all up. I done learnt too damn much. That's the problem. Let me tell you what happened to me. I realized that African Americans are some strong goddamn people. And they also to be broken, they had to be attacked mentally. They they had to get a different attack from everybody else because they so damn strong. Now, the same thing with Jamaicans. I shouldn't say African American because it goes for all of the people that was taken to working in the sugar fields. No man, I done did some research and I, it fucked me up, man. It made me cry, man. And I came out here crying because it was in the back of my mind, man. My people, we done been through hell, bro. God damn, bro. Don't come on here hating nobody, my nigga. Cherry, I love you too, mama. Don't hate none of your black Even if the niggas trying to hurt you Don't hate them brothers Pray for them Do that Because We've been through a lot of shit God damn We've been through a lot of shit I didn't know Like I know we've been through a lot of shit But I, After doing the research What me just do Recently It fucked me up man Because I I always had this sense of purpose Like I got to come here Work hard Make my people see The value in me I have to make my people Not just one or two friends of mine, my people. My people are all over the globe. My people are a worldwide people, they everywhere. My people in China, my people in America, my people in UK, my people in USA, my people in Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados, they in goddamn Japan, they in Taiwan, they in my people everywhere. My people are everywhere. So I was coming with an intention to connect with my people on a worldwide scale through this thing they call the internet and see who I could reach so we could bridge that gap and they could see the potential of my mentality and ideas and maybe support it so I could further that and have an investment because we're not born my nigga if we come suffer from this bum buckler earth no don't make nobody tell you that shit and don't be falling for that bullshit we're not born for come suffer from this blood clot earth we're not born for come suffer from this bum buckler earth no it's a lie. And the thing is this. When people take your wealth from you and from your nation and then try to give you some scripts to tell you, oh, you don't have nothing or you never... You, big up yourself, Jamil. Respect and love, my brother. Salute. 
You know what I'm saying? When you, you got a wealthy nation of people that was born into wealth and never too cared about the physical things because they was born into wealthy shit. God gave them blessings and natural. We have all this shit in the earth from, from long time. And then you have a robbery, a major robbery of the, 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 the Europeans. Seeing that they had black debt, nothing going on, suffering, pillaging, and just a messed up country. And wondering where they're going to get their wealth from. Where, how they're going to make a come up. Oh, Africa. They, they paid attention to how the, how the history go. I think it was Queen, um, not Queen Elizabeth, but Queen Victoria was the first one that had some shit going on. One of them shit. And they were sending out their people. Same way we hear about Christopher Columbus. We got Pop Skull. You see me? I say you get to hear about Christopher Columbus. Because him and the thief, the pirate, what them sent out to go find out about Wagwan and Wagwan over here. So them can make money and find gold. So that's how we end up in the situation today. You got all these people seeking for how the fuck they gonna come out their they poverty and find us. So now when them come and rob our blood clot wealth and take our land for 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 pretty much pillaging. And you see them start digging in Africa and they come and they buying and they making deals with all these different pe African leaders. Now, I do blame some of you African leaders for selling us out to the motherfucking Europeans, you mother suckers. Because what you did do was make deals with these motherfuckers and you got there make them come into the land and dig up and find shit that they don't belong to their ass and take it back to their goddamn country, to their queen. You know what I'm saying? To give them power and enrich themselves with our goddamn knowledge and artifacts. And that's the shit that goddamn got me fucking crying. Because now you see how burdened our people are. You see how much burden our people are under right now. It's hard to make a come up right now. Because Puff Daddy is still goddamn holding on to his millions. And he watching it carefully with the white people behind him. That making sure he don't spend too much. You know what I'm saying? And the bank making sure he don't withdraw too much. Because if they invest in the black community, it's a problem. They going to jail. They catching a rape charge. If they take some of that millions, they 600 million, 900 million, 1 billion, Sean, all that shit, Puffy Combs, Sean, Jay-Z Carter, all them black people, Oprah, that made billions of dollars recently. See how fast I left history to catch up back with modern time? The reason why is because I'm going to show you the connection. If these niggas take their money right now and invest back in the black community, they're going to jail. They're going to goddamn jail. You know who's sending them to jail? You know who's sending them to jail. Come on now. You know who's sending You know what's up, bro. This shit is... Like I'm sparking a fire from this goddamn thought. I smell a fire. Maybe somebody sparks it. Look, look here, man. These people sending my people to jail for investing in their own people, man. So, you see the hate and scrutiny is much bigger than we realize. And that's why today I think it's so hard for our people that's on the lower levels. Look at me, I spent my whole goddamn youth looking up to Jay-Z them, yo. I used to look up to all these niggas, yo. Man, I made you rich, nigga. Man, somebody send this shit to Jay-Z. Bro, I made you rich, bro. I'm the reason why you went platinum. I bought your shit like two, three times, bro. When, I, when my CD got stolen, I bought it again. Missy Elliott. <laughs> Look here, I love y'all artists. I ain't got nothing against y'all. But I'm, I did make y'all go platinum too. I helped. I helped make y'all go platinum. In them damn 2000s, I was buying Missy Elliott album. I bought Jay-Z album. I, I definitely bought Tupac album over and over and over. I bought all Tupac shit. You know what I'm saying? I bought Bob Marley's album. Uh, look here, man. We bought CDs. We bought music when we were younger. And we were inspired by all this shit. We're spending our money with this so. The reason why I'm mentioning that is because I didn't know I was looking up to some criminal shit, spending my money with some fucking criminals that would never give back directly to the community. I didn't know. I didn't know no better. I didn't know no better. Goddamn, they tricked us, Jamil. We, we, we bought up these people's music. We supported them. We was there riding with them. Little did we know. We just feeding into a machine and a, and a monster that want to suck up all your money just so he can come back and let you know, nigga, I got 20 Rolls Royces, 50 Ferraris, a 40 acre, 50 million dollar mansion, and um, I'm worth a billion dollars. That's what the fuck we supported these niggas for. Hmm? Not so we could have a nation of people that's 
enriching each other so we could invest back into the nation. So we could build up everybody else. That's what I thought the fuck was going on. My bad. I know I want to do that. I can't because they, they, they oh, this nigga got an idea that we don't like. So we're going to block his ass from ever really reaching nowhere in the game. We we got to do whatever we can to stop him. And that's what I feel like I'm getting. I'm, you know, the money I made is not enough for me to feel fucking fulfilled and happy. And oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it big. Fuck that. Fuck that. These motherfuckers trying to stop me because they know I'm they know I'm here to feed, to feed people. They know I, they know it. It's like they know. It's like they read me right the fuck up. They read me right up. Like yeah, that nigga. Yeah, he gonna put people on. Oh, fuck that nigga. Mhm. Mm he already trying to put people on. He ain't got shit. Fuck that nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Man, that shit hurt. Man, it hurt my feelings, man. Cause I don't know. It kind of take you off your track. You be like. You be positively going and then you're just like, oh man, I'm going go in the right direction. Should I just fucking build websites and, and, and sell websites? Should I just go into production and mix people's songs and just make my music for fun and just drop my shit for fun? Should I? Should I? That, that's what it does to me. It makes me ask questions, Jamil. You feel what I'm saying, bro? And people, a lot of people not used to real, man. They used to fake shit. They want a nigga, ha, ah, you're here smiling and shit. 24 7, everything always happy. <laughs> I'm not, I can't do that. I'm gonna give you my realness. When I'm happy, I'm happy. When I'm down, I'm down, man. Shit. Be fucked up, man. Baby got to bed already? Yeah, I had to spill my guts, man. I've been going through a lot lately. I'm. I just been, you know, I had to let it, let it loose and just go live and talk about it. Make something that people could connect with. And if anybody feel like I'm feeling, they could reach out and connect with me and just, you know, help me in this reasoning. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a level person. I will reason with people. Even though I sound crazy sometimes. But I love you, baby. Get, get just a kiss for me, alright? Yeah, she the one that made me happy. That's why I could level out and speak about the shit. She really made me happy, no matter what I'm going through. My daughter just put me right on track, right, you know? Yeah, that's why I be good. I remember when, that's why I was so stupid when I didn't have no kids, y'all. If, like, when I didn't have kids back then, right, I probably would have shot up, like, did some stupid shit, like, go get a gun and just do dumb shit. I remember when I was stupid like that, like, I'm retarded as fuck. Going through something, I'll just start blaming the world and to start picking up to do some violent shit like i was crazy i was i had to get my shit together mm -hmm. i can admit that i admit that i was a little bit shell shocked maybe it was a military i don't know something had me a little bit out there bro yeah i know you rocking with me bro bro i'm thankful for for all of you that's real out here bro and I, you know none of my none of my shit ain't about social media or was except for the Facebook fact that like everybody probably wonder what I was talking about with the Facebook boost you know they destroyed my page man I gotta be honest with everybody out there Facebook boost destroyed my fan page and that's a point I want everybody to understand they gave me money to promote my page they gave me money bro it's like they realized I wasn't spending no money on that shit and them niggas just popped up like hey here's some money to and they gave me like twenty dollars first and I spent it on a promotion and it promoted me uh, on the boost I got like you know 9,000 likes something like that out of the boost but listen this is what happened after I got them likes I, ain't, I I was like oh it's building up the page at that moment but what happened is it doesn't last it's like they got farms and then I did a research and I found out they got a Facebook farm where they got fake accounts that they promote your shit through Whenever you 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 boost your your, your um, post or whatever or your page, and I was like, why are y'all giving me uh, money so I could boost, but y'all won't pay me directly for the money you really owe me? You see what I'm saying? And that's the system we're dealing with. Facebook is a part of that system. That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a system that doesn't want to give us what it owes us, my nigga. It's putting pressure on a lot of us. They really want to see us gone, bro. Like my brother said, they want to stretch, bro. They want to stretch. They want to stretch, bro. I think there's a whole party of motherfuckers waiting right now. Like if a nigga like me drop out, they just start pouring champagne. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Woo! Let's go party tonight. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, man, that's the reason why we're pushing hard, bro. We got them kids, man. Can't can't be too concerned with these wicked people, bro. But every now and then when somebody got to call, somebody got to call them out, bro. We got to blow the whistle. We got to stop the, the foul shit. It's like foul, bro. It's like you're playing the game and it's foul, foul, and nobody's blowing the fucking whistle, bro. All these niggas is, yes, massa, skinning and grinning and acting like everything is nice. And they suffering like a dog. How can so much niggas suffer? And not fucking rebel against the system that's got them suffering. And try to get these people to see that, look, changes need to be made so we can have more progress. Because when we were having a progress, they destroyed Black Wall Street. So what more we need to see to realize that we have some type of fucking hidden enemy in our midst, bruh, bruh. You know what I'm saying, brother? We have a hidden enemy in our midst. And everybody is pretending like they can't see the shit. Like it's me alone. Like me just talking. He just talking. He... He just, he just, something wrong with him. Nigga, what happened is I'm, I'm, I see too much, man. I should Man, I didn't know, man. I, I, I read my Bible. The Bible did tell me that, but I, I, mean, I guess I doubted it or something. The more. Say that again. Alright. That's cool. No problem. It's all good. Alright. Love you, boo boo. <laughs> yeah, man. I've never been the type to put things over people, yo. That's just that's just my where my main my main point is I've never been that type. Like I just can't be that type. I don't see it. Like people valuable bro. You look at yourself in the mirror and you look at yourself and you know bro. You can't be messing with people out here like that man. People valuable man they you can't buy them people back yo. You break them people, you can't buy them. <laughs> You could go in the store and break any fucking thing and buy that shit. Somebody will buy it for you if you cry hard enough. Shit, man. <laughs> you can't buy people, bro. You can't buy time, time with your people. You have to just love them, bro. And like I say, you hear all the rhetoric and shit that I hear all the bullshit I've been talking on Facebook. I've been posting nonstop fuckery. Because I'm mad at, at motherfuckers and I'm betrayed. I feel betrayed for real. And I'm like, you know, but I really love, I really love them. Like, I really love them. That's why I feel so hurt, because I love these people. You know, I don't want to, I don't want people to feel like they have to go around hurting each other to make it, man. Somebody need to set a better example, and I would do that, man. I would do that. I would do that, because I'm really hurt by people. I'm re I really am, but a lot of people in my position, they'd have cut a lot of motherfuckers off. They'd have been cold as ice, because... I got options. I got options of, of what I could do with my life and what I, you know what I mean? Like, I got options. I don't have, like, some, nothing holding me back from moving forward in any way. Music, whatever, nothing. What's up, man? I said, Jamil, bro. You know it, man. Yo, keep doing your thing, my brother. You feel me? I'm back on that grind myself right now. I'm just chilling, breathing, and just speaking my mind and just kind of setting this up to be a video I could post on my YouTube so other people could connect with because we have to spread that knowledge bro big up yourself for whatever you're doing much respect you know what I'm saying even if you ain't got the time I'm gonna keep spilling whoever gone how much watches it don't matter I'm gonna keep spilling because I've been I'm, I don't bottle up my pain man anytime it builds up on me too much I just let it go tell who the fuck off fuck off tell who to cut off cut off I'm just let it go because I, I don't have no hard feelings for nobody but i realize that because you progressing and you work and you get busy a lot of people sometimes make you their enemy or they make you out to be the person they ignore or they just try not to give a fuck about what you're doing you know what i say big up sasha cardoza respect queen you know i'm, I'm always gonna be myself and just try to express myself honestly and do what i'm doing you know what i say this ain't about riches and glory it's about honesty and having people who love you and just be having real people around you. 
And I did my best to have real people around me, but I just realized you just have to live and learn. It's just part of life, you know, you're not going to always run into positive people. Remember Selena? Remember Selena, um, the singer? I was her biggest fan. When I found out her own manager, not even manager, that lady that worked with her shatter and killer, yo. You know, that's just how it is, fam. You know, you don't be your own friends and people you... People you ride with, that be the same motherfuckers that want to kill you, bro. It's, it's crazy, yo. And, uh, and I'm trying to come up without having them type of people around me, so um, I'm always setting tests. You know, I'll put a hundred dollars close to you and let you think, you know, I, I don't see it. And if it's gone, when you gone, then you gone. Like for life. Like, yeah, that's when I cut you off. You know, I, I've been doing stuff like that for a while with people. And I, that's how I know who my real friends are. You know? Johnny. Big up Johnny anywhere you at, bro. One of the realest niggas I ever met in my life, yo. Much respect, my brother. Yo, everybody that passed through, big up on yourself, yo. I'm making this a live cinema right now for my YouTube. <laughs> I don't know when, you know, on all type of topics. But, you know, the truth is, yo, we just have to spill it sometime, fam. Just tell the truth, let it be known. You know, cause every, life ain't life not perfect for nobody. You know, like we all have got through something. Big up bourbon. The whole way I got through something. I know everybody I go come and tell people what them have got through and share it with everybody. But light might go right now to blood clot. I just make live. JPS. <laughs> Me have to tell you now one. The bourbon make them know. Jamaica Spanish town. Light cut off every blood clot there sometime. But anyway, you know. Make a YouTube video right now. Me mean my Facebook video slash YouTube come here upload it after I'm done. Fam, I would love to be there to support and push everybody that's doing something positive. I'd love to be a, a investor. And you know, even if I could have given twenty thousand dollar USD or a pound towards somebody's business and watch them flourish. Here's the greatest part of it. To give them it and not worry about if them can pay it back. That's the greatest part of it. So, so wanting to be that type of person, not everybody going to fall in line with you and want to run with you. Because some people are very jealous. And I've learned that the hard way. My mother tell me that and teach me that from my youth, but bourbon, something like someone we have to learn the hard way, my G. People get jealous, my youth. All over your shoes and your, and your, your mug like clothes where you wear. Hot clothes where you wear. People, you have some man where I watch you right now and jealous. Just say it, go. The world is a the jealous people don't understand things. Most of the time they don't. And when they do, they stop being jealous. If you take a job, a decent position, and you give it to a jealous person right now, and they make five thousand dollar a month, they start making I mean, three, four, five thousand dollar a month, you will see this jealous person turn into a decent person probably because they start understanding that having that job playing that role, doing that work, gives them the opportunity to have things. So they don't have to be jealous of anybody that has things. They realize that the only reason why a person has things because they want to buy things because they want to make money from what they want to do. That's all. It doesn't make the person. Things don't make people. People make things. The blunt don't roll me. I roll the blunt. The hat don't wear me, I wear the hat. The chain don't wear me, I wear the chains. You dig people? It's a very simple reasoning. A lot of people missing out on that shit. So if you want something in life, just get that job. Work feet. And if you're working for it and you're still taking people shit, you're a worthless motherfucker. So what I mean, I say, so you have to change, you have to do a right by you people. You know what I mean? I say? Do a right for you and for your people and just be honest and unite, man, and come together and make a change. Let's build together, invest together. Let's make some shit where our kids could come up in and they don't have to work as hard as everybody else who have been here. Motherfuckers, I work for how long now, yo? How long now? Hmm? How long now have we been working? I'm going to touch some different topics. Because I realize what I can do is make like three or four or five live videos about different topics and upload them to my YouTube and touch the people with different topics, make them feel my vibes, I make them sew my weapons so them can connect and relate. Cause I know everybody on Facebook wanna connect with me. Let's be real. Someone wanna just have a little 
vibes with me for whatever reason. Whatever bad mind, whatever hatred, whatever little envy, whatever little attention seeking envy between us. I don't know what it is. I haven't done anything to you people. But you have a little thing where you are scared to have conversation with me on a live. You're scared to connect because you feel like um, you're above it or you feel like what I'm doing is, you know, you, 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 you rather ignore it. And that's what I'm getting from some of my friends, I know. They, they ignore it. High school friends too. I don't know if they wanted to be artists and make music or something. Maybe that's what it is and they're not making it. And I don't know if that's what it is. You know, but the more shows I do and the more music I put out, it's like the more jealous these niggas get to me. And that's that's what I see going on. And it's weird, but you know, I, I start to get that. You know, that's the programming these niggas is under. The Hollywood programming is like, yo, okay, fuck that nigga trying to do his thing. <laughs> you know, that's that's what I get from these niggas. They low down jealous niggas. I'm gonna go on my G-Turn page and go live, go touch a different topic. Maybe touch music shit, I don't know, whatever the fuck. But me, I go live, I'm just go live all fucking night. Fuck it. Big up yourself, Cherry. Big up Bourbon. Big up Jamil. Big up Sasha Cardoza. Big up. You know me, I say, everybody will pass you. Rainy, I definitely Rainy, I much love her. Pop Skull Malik, you see me, I say. Big up everybody will pass you the video, you see me? I'm gonna go over my next page right now. Mary Fobbs, long time, I'm gonna see my family. Hopefully soon, when we come back, I'm firing. Juju B. Tom Boy, I showed her so much. <laughs> Juju, man, I don't know. We. I don't know. I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it, Juju. Kerry. Big up Kerry K. Big up Tatiana, Colorado, yo. Yeah, man, everybody will pass through. You can find me on the G Terra page next. I'm gonna find out the formula to my phone right now. No problems. Baby girl gonna sleep. Perfect. <laughs> 